And now let's look at theorem 1015 from our textbook, commonly called in the old school secant secant power theorem. Got a pair of secants here. And you're saying, well, where's your colors, Mr. Banish? Well, I'll tell you what. You take this secant, you take the external portion times the whole portion equals the external portion times the entire secant segment. So if I'm going to write that out, let me draw in a couple segments here. So there's your red, well, red for the external segment times blue, the entire segment, equals the orange times the green. Well, finally, our last of our three power theorems, known as the secant tangent power theorem. This time we only have three segments to be concerned with. So we'll say the tangent squared is equal to the exterior portion of the secant times the entire secant. Or as we like to do with our colors, let's just say, we could say red times blue equals green squared in this case. Remember the blue segment that I'm referring to, the entire secant is ED. So you've got EA squared equals EC times ED. Now here's exercise six from your textbook, a secant secant power theorem problem. Pretty simple one. Your author gives you the exterior portions of the secants and then the interior portions. So remember, to set this up, you've got to come up with an expression for the entire secant. Now, this one is going to give us a variable expression. And let's just set it, do the setup here. So we've got the in exterior times the whole secant equals the exterior times the whole secant. And a little bit of distributive. And then let's a little bit of subtraction, division, and we've solved for x. Now x is 4, and we know that pertains to this segment here. But let's actually just um, do the little bit of a check. And when I do this check, I can see that it works out all right. So this, this of course, will be 8 times 12 equals 6 times 16, where the interior portion was the 4. Well done. Now we'll do another secant, secant power theorem. And this time, we're going to generate a quadratic. Yes, you can you only see one x here, but watch what happens. Remember, we take the exterior portions, the red and the orange here, we need to multiply them by the entire secant, the blue and the green. So when we do this, set this up, red times blue equals orange times green. So expand this, and we can see the generation of an x squared term. And right away we say, aha, uh -huh. that looks like a quadratic. Let's subtract 60 from both sides. Now you could use a is 1, b is 4, and c is negative 60. Use your quadratic formula, but you should be able to factor this one out right now. I'll give you a little hand here. All right, you start like this. You know, it's x plus, an x plus and an x minus term. And then I'm going to say, all right, remember the factors, the old rainbow they taught you, the 1 times 60, 2 times 30. These are all the pairs of whole number factors uh, arranged by or matched by color. And, well, they all give me a product of 60, but I'm looking for a difference of 4, and I would look towards the middle, and I see 6 and 10. Minus 6 plus 10 will generate a middle factor of plus 4x. So let's move this out of the way, and then we'll keep going here. And I'll just use employ the zero product property and I say my value of x must be negative 10 or 6. Looking at the diagram, I can't have a segment that's negative 10 units long, so I'm going to reject that one and I'm going to replace it. I'm going to say that this is 6. And if I just want to do a quick check to make sure everything's all right, I'll substitute that back in up here and it sure makes sense. 6 times 10 
equals 5 times 12. Checks out A-OK. -okay. We're done with this one. And here's another secant, secant power theorem exercise. And we've got here a little bit more complicated than the last one. Remember, we need to use the exterior portion of the secant multiplied by the entire secant. So be sure to combine these expressions, 4 and 5 making 9, x minus 2 combined with x plus 4, 2x plus 2. So now we can set up the arithmetic. Red times blue equals orange times green. So let's expand that. And we can see we're going to develop, uh, well, we already see we're going, we have a quadratic. Let's set this quadratic equal to 0. And you're thinking, oh, I've got a coefficient of 2. But not to worry, I've got a factor of 2 everywhere there. So let's just divide that 2 out. And then uh, we're all set now. I guess we can just do our factoring. And, and again, you could, if you didn't know how to factor it, you could use your quadratic formula. But this is a pretty easy one. And then when we solve this, I'm going to have two answers, negative 4 and positive 5. Let me explore the negative 4. Negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. I'm going to reject the negative 4. The 5 will be would be feasible because I could take the 5. I could take this expression, replace it with the whole number 3. So let's just move that out of the way. And let's X, let's say x plus 4, let's replace that with 9. And then, of course, 3 and 9 is 12. Or I could just replace this expression here to a, uh, 2 times 5 plus 2 is also 12. So you can see I can just make my substitutions there. And now it's looking like a, a pretty feasible solution. Just one last thing. Let me just check. And just by 3 times 12, 36 equals 4 times 9, which is also 36. So that checks out, and we're finished. Well, this is a secant, secant power theorem problem, and it's as straightforward as you can get. You've got right here, you draw in the secant, we've got a secant of 16. So we've got red times blue equals green squared. We'll set that up. Easy, easy. x squared is 144. We'll solve that. We know that x is plus or minus 12. We would reject the negative 12 since this length can't be a negative, so it must be 12. And just substituting in there, I can see 12 squared equals 9 times 16, so it checks out okay. Well, this would be a secant tangent power theorem. As you can see, we have a secant and a tangent segment here. First, let's remember we always need to solve or make an expression for our secant. That's the exterior portion plus the interior portion. We'll set up the problem. Red times blue equals the green squared. And we'll expand. We see that on the left here, this, uh, this is a perfect square trinomial. If you don't know how that works, you, can, you may want to go back and review that perfect square trinomial. And over here on the right-hand side of the equation, you've got an x squared term as well. Looks like a quadratic, but you got x squared on both sides. Subtract them. Then you can subtract here. And really, you're just about done. We solved for x. x is 4. Um, let me visualize this. I'm going to shrink this diagram up move it over here and make another one over here where I've got the value substituted. If I replace x with 4, then the tangent segment becomes 8 and the secant becomes 16. So when I go to check, 8 squared, 64, equals 4 times 16, and that checks out. So I think we're done. Now, don't be fooled by this secant, secant problem. It's deceptively easy. Red times blue equals orange times green, too. 
set it up and solve it and you're done. This segment is 30. Well, here's another case for the secant tangent power theorem, exercise number 15. Well, let's set this up. You see our tangent segment this time is a radical or has a length that is radical 3. My exterior portion of the secant is x, interior is 2, so that makes the whole secant x plus 2. Red times blue equals the green squared. So let's set this up. And as we can see here, we'll expand on the left, and we can see we've got, oh, looks like the makings of a quadratic. Let's subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. Now this one we should be able to factor pretty easily. And when we solve this, we have two values for x. And again, right away, I'm looking at x negative 3. I'm going to reject that. I'm going to say that x must be only the 1. So that's, and I will do one last check. I'm going to substitute back into the original values. If this is 1 times 3, that would be 3 equals radical 3 squared. And radical 3 squared is 3, so it checks out okay. So my solution for x must be 1.